Welcome to Reef Reimagined from a Real Reef Hobbyist. What I want to do in these episodes is culture a very biodiverse live rock naturally, grow our macroalgae for nutrient export, and grow large amounts of pods to help break down detritus and keep our tanks clean. One thing I wanted to see as we go through this testing of incorporating the biome from ocean rock into our base rock, our dry rock, is does what you're starting with matter? So we're going to do a little experiment while we go along through this process. The first thing we're going to do is just leave this piece exactly it is, how it is, exactly how it came out of the box. This one, we're going to do a vinegar cure. This one, we're going to do a, an acid cure. And we're going to see at the end, we're going to take these three rocks, put them into our ocean tank under full light, and just get an idea of, is there a difference based on how you prepare your dry rock first? So that's going to be our next experiment. We'll show you how we're going to do that. Our first cure will be using vinegar. We're going to be using just white distilled vinegar. And this mixing bucket here, we're going to combine four parts water to one part vinegar. And we'll let that soak until the foaming stops to do the curing process or that rock. Our other rock, we're going to use muriatic acid. We're going to use that as a, I believe, 20 to 1 ratio um, is what BRS had recommended. So we're going to do an acid wash for that. We're going to do about 15 minutes on that one. And we're going to come up now with three pieces of rock, a natural rock, and then two different kinds of acid um, cured rocks. And we're going to see if that really makes a difference. Um, or if we don't need to take this step when we're looking for establishing that great biome with ocean rock. Now what I've done is I've marked my rocks. So the rock with no zip tie is straight out of the box rock. The rock with the white zip tie will be our vinegar based um, cured rock. And the rock with the black zip tie will be our muriatic acid cured rock. So those are our three rocks. Let's start um, getting those processed and get them ready for the tank. So we're going to just pour, take our bucket, we're going to pour in a pint of vinegar. A little bit over there. And we're going to add in four pints of RODI water. Okay, so I have my RODI water. We're going to do four parts. One, two, three, so we did, I did for this one, I did one part vinegar, so one, two, three, four parts of um, RODI water. So it's a four to one ratio. I think it should be fine. A little more acid's not going to hurt. It's just going to be a question of how quickly it eats up the rock. So now we're going to take our white zip tied rock and we're going to put it in here. We'll give it a little swirl too. Strong vinegar smell, but not a lot happening. Uh, you can see it's starting to bubble. So we're going to let this sit for a bit, and we'll come back and uh, we'll check it out. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Um, I keep swirling this around, trying to generate some kind of uh, reaction. Um, very little bubbling at this point. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Still some minor bubbling, not much. Uh, so we're going to dump this out, give it a couple good baths with um, some RODI water, and we'll set it aside, and once it's really clean, we'll set it aside and let it dry out. Okay, now we're going to do the acid wash, or the acid cure. We're outside for this. So this, again, this is a 20 to, 20 to 1 ratio. So we're going to do about 80 ounces of water and 4 ounces of acid. So let me start with the bucket. Let's get the RODI water in there. Okay, and now let me get the four ounces of acid. Okay, and now we have our acid opened up. Um, um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am outside for this test. Um, the vinegar you can do certainly do indoors, but this acid you do not want inside your house. And if you notice, I put the water in first this time, and I'm adding the acid to that. That helps prevent splashing and any kind of a reaction. So we'll let that sit for a minute. We'll give it a little stir and then we'll get a rock in there. 
Okay, so now I have a rock holding it by the zip tie here. Insert that into the bucket and let that do its thing. Much different reaction than the vinegar. Very strong um, initial bubbling. And we'll see, the zip tie, just so you can see, is right on there tight. We'll see how much rock we lose because we, I've seen you can lose between 10 and 25% doing this process. So let's let it run for about 15 minutes and we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Let's get this washed off and dumped out. And I have some baking soda here, so we're just gonna pour that in there and sterilize or uh, neutralize the acid, and we'll take a look at the rock. Okay, so here's our three rocks. This is out of the box, completely dry rock, just soaked and rinsed in RODI water. This is our vinegar cured rock, then rinsed and soaked in some RODI water. This is our acid cured rock and then soaked in some RODI water. So at this point, I'm just going to take all three of these, put them in some containers, let them soak for a while just to make sure all of those acids are out of the rocks. We'll let them dry really well and then we will incorporate them into our live rock tank. Okay, and here's a picture of our rock added to our ocean rock sitting right there on top. We're going to watch this for a few weeks, month, two, whatever it takes. We're going to see what the impact of the uglies is on each of these rocks in the same system. We'll see if one rock outperforms another rock or if they're basically all the same. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and follow.